Hi, welcome back my little third party followers. I hope you're all okay. Uh, so as promised, this is your third party reading. What we're going to do on this one, because last time we did what was going on, we're going to do their for your person's thoughts and feelings about you and your person's thoughts and feelings about the person that they are with. So we're going to break it into kind of two separate parts. Deck one, thoughts and feelings about you, thoughts and feelings about them. Same with deck two. Uh, things before I, got, get, uh, before I get started is I'm running teaching sessions again. So I've got my last uh, load of people we've got through to, to the next steps. So I'm ready to take on new clients. So if you want to get in touch for one-to-one, -one, it is one-to-one -one, uh, teaching sessions, just drop me an email, missitlovetarot.gmail.com. Same for reading, same for all of that. There's nothing on the website about it yet because I don't really know how to update websites. Um, but just to let you know. Okay. Let's go. So, third party thoughts, feelings. Deck number one and deck number two. So, think about you and your person. Think about them. And then have a brief, really brief think about the person they are with. Try not to put any emotion in it because emotion is just energy in motion. Try not to think about that. Just think about, uh, just vaguely think about them. Deck number one, deck number two and pull that energy back. Okay, that's lovely. And pick your decks. Where your heart's pulling you, where your heart energy is pulling you. Okay, let's go. So, can you get me into deck number one's collective energy, please? So, we'll go into your energy. We'll link it into their energy. Those of you that I read for, you know that uh, any way that I always start reading, I always start with thoughts and feelings because it gives me and my guides a really good indicator where the energy's at, where the energy's heading, and what kind of is going on as a whole. Okay, think about your person. Let's just get that energy again. Put those energies together, thank you. And vaguely, a three second thought about the person that they are with. Okay, stop. That's fine. I've got the energy. Bro. Okay, can we find out these thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of everyone involved? Of the whole lot of people? Okay, let's go. So, can you tell me please, what is the person thinking about those watching? Now, I always refer to um, the person they're with as a third party, because I always feel like you guys are the more divine relationships, and I don't like to give the excessive energy to the other person. Um, so, if I start throwing third party around and you're thinking, oh, hold on a second, I'm the third party, just bear with me, okay, because it's just that... I just, my energy cannot see it that way. It's just, it's just, it just can't. It's up to you, whatever your difference of opinions is, but my personal energy on it, my guide's energy. It's a divine relationship. I really struggle to see uh, you as the third party. What are their thoughts and feelings? Three, four, not the person watching. Five, okay. And what's a, what are the thoughts and feelings about the person they are currently with? One, two, three, thunderstorm, got thunderstorm in England today, four, sorry I was in my own little world then, I was really concentrating, <laughs> concentrating what spirit was saying. Okay, so we'll start off. Uh, we'll start off with the people they're with. Actually, that that feels like the right place to start. So, what's currently happening with the person that they are with? Is they're in quite a stagnant energy with regard to their thoughts and feelings about them? You haven't pulled any heart-centered cards yet. I'll show you them uh, if you want to. Those of you learning tarot, Queen of Swords. Six of Wands, the Moon, King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Um, I never really work with this, the literal tar tarot meanings because I just channel with spirit and I use the cards as a tool. Um, so basically what's happening is there's no heart-centered energy going on between the people that they are with. What is going on between the, the people they are with is routine. It's... Um, it's stability, it's security. A lot of the people that you're with, there could be, there's likely to be children involved. And with that need for this, these children that are being involved in the situation, it's making the energy with the person that they are with quite stagnant and they're finding it quite hard to get the um, strength they need to do something about the situation. 
there isn't any heart-centered energy. There is a lot of conflicting emotions. Um, there's a lot of conflicting arguments happening as well. Uh, there's a difference of opinions. Spirit are also saying that if you are seeing things that the person that they are with is posting on Facebook or social media, um, and it's all happy families, this, that, and the other, please be aware that this is just a front. Uh, you know, people always say that the, the happiest relationships are the ones that you do not show on social media. What happen, What's happening here is that um, the person that your person is with, so the, the third party, the one they are with, um, is feeling quite insecure about the relationship. On this kind of, they're in a little bit of a bitchy energy with the Queen of Swords, they're feeling quite, um, this relationship isn't going how I want it to, we're arguing quite a lot, so I'm going to show the world that actually we're absolutely perfect. I'm going towards my person and saying, can you give me, so I'm going towards your person and saying, can you give me reassurance? So the third party they are with is saying, tell me, can I have the reassurance that this relationship is working, that this relationship is okay? And they are being met by a brick wall. So they are not getting that reassurance from the person that they are with, your person. So what's happening with that is then they are then going to social media to get reassurance from other people. It's the kind of psychological side of it. So they're not getting it from your person. So they go to social media, post on social media how perfect their life is, um, how wonderful the family is, how great the kids are doing, how they've been out for a meal, or the threats that kind of come with that. It, um, the, the, your, their person that they are with is feeling quite threatened as well. They know something's not quite right in this relationship. So they're not getting the reassurance they want. They're feeling quite threatened by the situation, feeling that something's not quite right. So if they are going on dates and posting all of that on social media, um, again, it's to try and say to you, kind of mark their territory a little bit and be like, you know, this is my person. Um, so those are what's happening with the person that they are with. You, your person, your person, it gets really confusing, doesn't it? The person, yeah, your your person, male, female, your energy, the the divine energy, um, is focusing on the family. Kind of got this brick wall up when they are communicating with them. Hasn't got heart and heart, any heart centered energy, uh, but has got the stability and security which is kind of ticking it over. There isn't a great sexual chemistry between the two of these people. There is a lot of secrets going on that uh, they are not aware about. Please do not fill in the blanks. So if you are seeing stuff um, and it's making you feel really uneasy or you're sitting there at night and you're suddenly thinking the worst, um, try not to fill in the blanks about what's actually happening because unless you are in that relationship, you are not going to know. Um, so don't fill in the blanks. Your person uh, as a whole has been complete, uh, has been honest with you. There has been a bit of sugarcoating going on for some of you, um, not all of you some of you, they kind of sugarcoated the situation and what's happening uh, just so that it doesn't sound like uh, as bad as what it could be. Um, but other than that, it's ticking, you know, it's kind of ticking the boxes. There's arguments going on. The the female or the female energy, remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated. The female energy is the person that they are with, um, is feeling insecure, looking for reassurance on Facebook. Your person is hiding secrets, uh, conflicting energies, arguments, lack of communication. Um, also there's kind of, uh, your the, the female, the person that they are with, I'll show you cards, the person that they are with is feeling that your person has got a lack of respect for them as well. Um, just because at the moment they seem to be withdrawing, they're not giving any answers, they're not giving any... Um, I just heard self-fulfilling prophecies. Now that's you guys, sorry, Spirit just jumped in there. And Spirit saying, uh, stop giving self-fulfilling prophecies. The, that's just completely throwing me off track. But that's where the energy currently is. They aren't getting the, the information they need from your person. They are trying to put all the pieces together of the jigsaw. Your person is focusing on the stability, the security and what's happening there. But there is no heart-centered energy. You have conflicting energy. You have secrets. Um, now, we've, we've also got the Six of Wands, which is kind of going on here. So it's this battle of wills at the moment. Now, it feels like the female energy is kind of winning this fight, which is why you're person isn't really making any moves towards you at the moment and um, they are feeling 
quite strong, getting the, not getting the reassurance they need, going elsewhere. But when shit hits the fan and they end up having this battle between the two of them, having these arguments, uh, the person they're with tends to be winning um, because they kind of go in and throw a little bit. After they've said their piece, they kind of go in and, and feel a bit sorry about what they've done. Uh, Spirit are saying it isn't the fault of the person that they are with. I know it's really hard for us not to, to blame them, but it's not their fault. Um, it's just that they aren't fully aware of the picture, they aren't fully aware of what is going on, so they are just seeing it from one perspective. They know something's not right, they've got an intuition on it. If they didn't have that intuition, they wouldn't be seeking reassurance through Facebook or other means. Um, they know that your person is hiding stuff from them, and that is causing this conflicting energy. That's what's happening there, thoughts, feelings. That's the situation, that's what's going on. N not heart-centred energy, stability, security, um, arguments, tight, you know, and with regard to their thoughts and what they're thinking about it, it's draining, it's stressful, it's tiring, um, but it's stable and it's secure to a certain degree because there's money, there's houses, there's kids, all that kind of family package. You know, what earth earthly people would say would be the family package, all of that. And that's what the draw is here. It's not because of love, it's because the, the draw towards this is the stability, security, and a lot of them, if there are kids involved, are struggling to think what their life would be, would be without the kids. Um, can they do it? Some of them are on second marriages, some of them are even on third marriages. With that, again, it's that same package. Can I be the person that's had two ex-wives and, and would they still want me, or ex-husbands, etc.? Um, can I leave my kids another time? Just be cautious of it, just be aware of it. So that's what's happening in the relationship that they are currently with. Quite quite dramatic, really. With their thoughts and feelings towards you, um, they can tell that you are getting quite irritated by the situation. They can tell that you are getting really fed up with the fact that they are not making any choices. Um, but they are still in this stagnant energy at present of not moving things forward. Um, they're not communicating it in the best way that they should be to you. They can see that there is a chance of the two of you being together, but for them to go from this situation to this situation, they're just a bit unsure what, how to do it. You know, how do they give up the stability and the security? A lot of that kind of goes back to issues when they were younger. You know, if there was abandonment issues and things that happened when they were children. So the stagnant energy, um, between the two of you. They do have strong feelings for you. They do love you with the Queen of Cups. They do have these very, very strong emotions towards you and they try to show you in the best way they can. Um, a lot of them don't really want to open up about their emotions to you because it makes them feel vulnerable and it's gonna. they don't want to give you kind of any false hope in a sense that they know what they're doing and that they're gonna leave tomorrow. So they, they don't want to do anything like that. Um, but there is these very, very strong feelings towards you. Now, they're also getting quite a little bit aggravated with the situation because when you get upset or when you get annoyed, um, they don't really know how to handle it. They're, only, they're failing to see it from your perspective. They're only seeing it from their own. And that's them making them you feel really crappy and putting the whole kind of situation at a bit of a standstill. They know that they have to make a choice about the situation. They know that they love you. And a lot of them, even if it kind of you, you are, in a period of separation or it's, it isn't working out for the time being, your person will come back to you because their heart-centered energy is very, very strong towards you, you know? Some of them are kind of a little bit, and you're not going to like this, so just bear in mind you're not going to like this bit, I'll have the kind of the cats that's got the, got the cream, having the cake and eating it, got kind of a bit of here, a bit of there, um, got the stability and security and money from one side of things and then getting the love or sexual energy and all that kind of stuff from you. Um, so they kind of got the best of two worlds, really. Um, they're not viewing it from that perspective as such, but they kind of are, they're not really upset about the situation. They get upset when you're upset. Um, they get annoyed when they can't find the solutions to what you're asking or give you the answers that you seek. And that's where that kind of sugar coating energy comes in. Um, but there is very, very strong feelings. Now with the nine of cups coming in here, this is saying that they do want they have got uh, really good thoughts and feelings that the two of you will come together, but it isn't yet. It isn't yet. And that's where the energy is. So, with you and them, 
there is heart-centered energy it's a bit it is stagnant I'm sorry to say they know that you're not happy um, they're not really doing very well at talking to you about it um, and if they do kind of get a bit snappy with you and things like that um, don't feel that you shouldn't have to say things because you are your own person you've got to say what you feel is right um, but gauge their energy firsthand make sure that you're saying it at the right time so you don't cause it any extra periods of separation or things like that if you're if you're talking at the moment um because if they're having an argument in this energy if you go in and start pushing buttons they will just kind of cut the contact for the time being so just be cautious of that be wary what you're saying there is great there is hope here um there is good potential here now for the two of you kind of coming together if you want to look at that we'd have to look at individual readings because i'm just doing the thoughts and feelings um but the love is there for you and it isn't there for the person that they are with. But what is with the person they are with is the stability and security. They just basically need to put their big girly pants on or big boy pants on and do something about it. They know they want to be with you, but they're just really stuck on how to do it. Do not do self-fulfilling prophecies, as Spirit is saying. You know, try not to let your head run away with you. Try not to think the worst. Um, you know, try not to focus on the person that they are with because if you do that, you're manifesting them coming together. If you want your manifesting plan just doing, just give me a shout. But um, this stagnant energy has got to shift and a lot of you will need to start manifesting the stagnant energy which is holding this back rather than focusing on you and your person. Just focus on the smaller box first. And that is deck number one. Okay, deck number one is if you want to book a private reading, email, website, Instagram. Uh, I'll put it all in the comments. Okay, let's do deck number two, 1608. Okay, can you get me into deck two's energy, please? So deck two, what I'm going to do is do exactly the same as what I did with deck one. Uh, I'm going to do the thoughts and feelings towards you and the thoughts and feelings towards the person that they are with. Um, and that is how we're going to handle it. So think about your person. Just getting into that strong energy between you all. And we're going to just hold a three second thought towards the person that they are with. So think about the person they're with. One, two, three. Stop thinking about it and think about just you and we'll focus on the reading. Can we get into the thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of everybody that is involved in the situation, please? Okay, and let's get going. Can you tell me, please, what are the thoughts and feelings about the people watching? What is the person's... Thoughts and feelings about the people watching. One. Two very different decks this time. I thought we'd, we'd handle it differently. Three. Four. Five. Okay, and what about the person that they are with? One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, so what's kind of happening here is that this energy uh, with you and them, some of you are not in contact, some of you are in contact. Um, your situation with your person has kind of got to close a chapter. Now, that doesn't mean the two of you kind of come into a close, um, but it means that where the energy is at this moment in time, it's kind of the, the next, you've got to finish the page that you're on and get and be ready for the next page with them. What's kind of happening in your energy with them is that there's this repetitive karmic energy kind of coming through that a situation keeps being brought up and then dropped and brought up and then dropped. Um, there's family influencing the situation with regard to your person and um, they're feeling quite stru again they're feeling quite stuck deck number one was stuck as well and they know that they want that again they know that they've got to do something about this uh, for the two of you to come together but they're feeling quite under pressure about it all at the moment they're not really sure what to do and um, you're feeling quite distrusting of them uh, you're feeling that your emotions are being quite toited said toited with I don't know what toited means your emotions are being toited with um they are feeling quite pressurized by you um and this is kind of making the energy go a little bit at the end of the tether not really sure how to progress it with you now 
there are feelings towards you, there are emotions towards you. The sexual energy is quite a lot stronger in this deck than the emotional side of things, sorry to say, but you know, they're kind of called together. A lot of your people are going to be focusing on the sexual energy rather than the emotional energy. Uh, reason for that is because if they talk about emotions, everything really does become real. Whereas if it's kind of, they go down the more fun, exciting, sexual route, um, it's not quite as um, intense, it's not quite as, um, I've got to make a choice, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Your person is very, very aware that they need to make a choice. Your person is very, very aware that you were kind of had enough. Your person is very, very aware that there's a lot of stress, a lot of uh, heartache going on around the situation and your person is aware that they do not want to hurt you. So what's currently happening is that this chapter is going to have to come to a close. Now again, that doesn't mean that it's going to end between the two of you. But it does mean that whatever's kind of going on between the two of you at the moment, you kind of kind of have to rewrite it. Um, even if they kind of, even if they stay with the person that what they are with at the moment, you are going to have to rewrite where you are with them for this to kind of work in the right direction. It's kind of changing the thought process about it, changing the manifesting about it. You lot seem to be in quite a low frequency with regard to your person, and that low frequency is manifesting. So please remember, it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into fruition. So if you are holding your worst fears. Um, you are manifesting them. So please, please, please be extra cautious. Now the Spirit is saying the good news is that with a lot of you the situation is going to turn back around with the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to turn back around and you're going to have this shot at rewriting it. But just be really, really careful of your actions and how they act and their reactions. Uh, you need to be very wary of how you handle the situation before it kind of comes to a close. You need to be really, really careful. So with regard to... Um, if you are in separation, again, that separate period of separation is going to be coming towards a close. They're going to be starting to make these moves towards you. There is still underlying issues with regard to jealousy and insecurity and instability and are they going to leave. That is still, the, these are where the underlying issues are, whether you're in separation or not. And these are the issues that kind of going to need to be resolved. How you can resolve them, talking to your person about them is not going to help at this moment in time. The best way to kind of resolve these situations is to look within yourself. So remember when I said about, uh, in a couple of readings, can't remember which one it was, that Neville Goddard said, uh, everything is you inside out, upside down, whatever. Um, basically, I can't never remember it. Basically, what they're saying is like your inside world is a reflection of your outside world. So if you are feeling that you are not getting the security that you need from your person, that's because you're not feeling secure within yourself. If you're feeling that your person is staying where they are and you've got that kind of jealousy, that's because you're not getting what they've already got. You want to be the other person. And again, it's gaining that confidence in yourself. So it's starting to look at yourself from a different perspective. The more you you look at yourself from that I am loved, I am worthy, I am amazing, I am phenomenal. The more you look at yourself from that perspective, the more this chapter is going to turn in your favour, the next chapter. This has got to be rewritten a little bit because the energy is stagnant, it's a little bit toxic um, and we don't want it to end badly, do we? So try to see it from a different perspective and try to gather that strength within you. They do love you, Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing in the first place or what they've done if you're in separation. But there is a lot of kind of heavy energy around this. Try and do energy clearing meditations every single day as well because that will keep your energy on a high vibration. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling um, sad. They are sad as well. Um, a lot of you are kind of mirroring your energy with your person as well. So if you are suddenly, um, you know, you're thinking they're never going to leave. They're thinking, um, if I leave, would it ever work? You're thinking they love her or him more than they love me. He's thinking, I can't prove to you that I love you more because at the moment I'm stuck where I am. You're thinking, would you just hurry up and bloody leave? You're doing my head in. They're thinking, would you stop getting on my case and let me do this in my own time? And that's your mirroring energy. Uh, so do regular energy clearings, morning, night, probably the best way to do it. Uh, it's not necessarily, it's not over, um, but you guys have got to kind of be wary that you, it's, it's not in a very, it's in a bit of a place at the moment so just be extra extra cautious how you're handling it be extra extra cautious on how it's moving forward um be extra extra cautious about what you're saying what you're doing um and handle the situation in the best way that you can
focus on yourself, do your inner healings, that will then reflect on the outside world. In, in some respects, Spirit is saying, in a respect that this chapter has got to close for the new one to open, again, that doesn't mean that you're breaking up, it just means that this stuff has got to be put to bed um, for you and your person to, to give it another go and, and rewrite it a little bit. So they're saying, uh, with regard to that, it's not necessarily a bad thing. With this energy being how it is, with this energy being heavy, you're going to want to redo it and start again, because if you entered into a relationship, if they left tomorrow and went into a relationship with you, at the moment, it's going to be too heavy, too intense, too much water under the bridge. So it does need to be rewritten, whichever way you go about it. It needs to just kind of ease in a little bit, go a little bit gently, but be more gentle on yourself. You know, you are worthy. You are phenomenal. You are amazing. Don't listen to other people's opinions and judgments and things like that, because to be fair, they are not you. You know, if your friends are saying, oh, they're never going to leave. Do you know, I? you can say, well, you know what? You're not me. You're not in this relationship. You don't know anything about them. You don't know the emotions that I'm feeling. You don't know the emotions that they're feeling you really don't have a right to say it they're trying to do it for your own protection and to look after you and to say oh we love you don't waste your life and obviously you don't want to waste your life um you have got to put yourself first um but just be wary of people's judgments okay don't take them on board when you feel like you're taking on a judgment return it back return to sender three times say it three times now with regard to your person and the person they're with they know that they love you they know that there are really strong feelings towards you there are likely to be children involved in this in this one um they are feeling kind of again it's a little bit stagnant now i said this in deck one and you guys aren't going to like it so i'm going to take this one as well because it's staring at me um they're kind of a little bit having their cake and eating it now that is where the problem is on on you guys it's going to be a little bit difficult um for this cycle this uh this toxic stuff has got to fade okay because um at the moment you are kind of feeling that they are having their cake and eating it and to a sense they are but they do love you now what's happening with the two of them is their person that they are with um is kind of a little bit oblivious that there's anything going on with you but they are in a very aware state so your person is actually becoming quite aware about their situation quite aware that they aren't really where they want to be they're getting a lot of spiritual guidance they're getting a lot of spiritual support i said this in deck one as well a lot of the people that they are with are masking what is going on by going on social media and saying everything is phenomenal and amazing again that's because when the person they are with is going to your person and saying are we okay? Is everything all right? What's going on? And your person's got this brick wall up. They're not getting the answers that they need. So they're going to Facebook or social media and, and posting, oh, we're so happy. We're going ama we're amazing. We're going on holiday. Happy, happy families. It's BS. What's happening is your person is not giving them the answers they want. So they're looking for reassurance elsewhere. And in a sense of that, there's exploitation going on with the person that they are with. Because the person they are with is a little bit foggy foggy they do love your your person the person they're with do, does love your person and that is where the fogginess comes in it's not their fault you know it is one of those things you, you can't help you who you fall in love with um, and if they were more aware you know perhaps they would feel differently um but you are where you are now there is a, a few celebrations that are going to be happening with regard to the people that you your person and the people that they are with um and this is kind of more in the summer period. So if you suddenly hear that, you again, you're not really going to like this bit, but if you're, they're going to a wedding together or if they are um, going on a holiday together, etc., etc., please just kind of take it with a pinch of salt. It's a really difficult situation for you because whilst you're in this really, really low energy, you're feeling like your person's in this really, really high energy. Um, with regard to the person they're with, it's, it's not true. This is, a, again, I said this in the last third party reading, this is a comfy slipper relationship so you are this stiletto the sparkly kurt geiger chanel anything like that stiletto beautiful bubbly attractive want wanting you know when you go into a shoe shop and you're like do i want that really nice sparkly high heel or do i want that slipper 
you are the you are the stiletto. The person that they are with is the is the slipper, but it's comfy. And again, I said that in depth one, it's comfy and it is secure. But that is because the person doesn't know what's going on behind the scenes. They are fo they are clouded by fogginess. Your person is keeping up pretenses with them, um, but also it's their per your person is not giving them the reassurance that they want. There's a lack of sexual energy between the two of them. There is a love, but it's not being in love. They are in love with you. There is a love between the two of them, kind of in the same way that you would love your family and a lot of that is because kids are involved as well your person's feeling a little bit like a rabbit in headlights they really aren't sure what on earth they are doing and um, they just know that they have emotions towards you um, and they don't really know how to go about it because they're struggling with the situation with you and again that's why we're saying if we can change our energy with you it's going to give them a much higher incentive to want to do something about it because whilst your energy with them is like it's making them think, oh, maybe I'm going to stay with this slipper after all. So with the tools we've said about clearing your energy, that will help with you and your person. Um, will they leave? Uh, you know what Spirit is saying? It's it's really likely because it, may, it might not be for a while. I didn't answer this in deck number one because we're looking at thoughts and feelings. And again, this is a collective energy. Um, it is going to be very, very dependent on your individual circumstances, but Spirit is saying it is likely, but it, it was going to take, this is going to take some time because there's a lot of uh, falsities that have got to be broken down. There's a lot of becoming more of aware of emotions, becoming more aware of what's happening. And, you know, holidays are being brought into the equation, especially if it's kids' summer holidays at the moment. Um, they're trying to keep up these pretenses, which is what's happening here. Um, spirit are more in control of this than what you are letting on and the universe be careful what you're manifesting again if you want your manifesting plan doing just give me a shout um, remember your person loves you it's the person that they are with you know they are exploiting them at the moment they're not being fair to them um, they're not being fair to you and to be fair they're not being fair to themselves because they're trying to keep up this mask in front of everyone and inside, they are the ones that are really struggling with it. And, you know, you'll say, well, it's a rub for their own back. Yeah, you're right. Um, but, again, you can't help who you fall in love with. They probably weren't expecting you to just come in and take them off their feet. They probably weren't expecting that. Um, ride it out. Their thoughts and feelings are with you. They are tired and drained like you are. They're feeling exactly what you are feeling. Their thoughts and feelings towards the person is that they are a comfy slipper. It's okay. Let's see what happens. Your person is definitely taking it as it comes. They're going with the flow of the situation. Will they leave? We'd have to look at that individually. Likelihood is, yeah, it would happen, but it's going to take time for debt number two. Um, keep strong. You know, keep focusing on yourself, keep focusing on where you want to go and what's actually happening and, and what you want. Rewrite your chapter with your person. It's time to break down these falsities as well. Rebuild and rebuild it in the right direction so the likelihood of le them leaving is going to get stronger. You know, if they're feeling that they're getting stressed and burdened and heavy um, because you're not happy and you're not secure, they're just going to think, well, you know what, I can't make you happy, I can't make you secure, I'll stay where I am. It's a bit touch and go, deck number two, I'm sorry to say, but obviously I always tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Um, use the tools and techniques we said. I'm here if you need me. Drop me an email if you want a private reading or Instagram. Um, go have a look at the website. Teach. I'm doing individual teaching sessions again. Um, so if you want them, just again, follow the details. I'll put all the details in the description for you. Keep strong, guys. You know, you, you've got, you're handling this probably better than you think you are. Um... It takes a hell of a lot of strength to be in love with someone that's with someone else. A hell of a lot of strength. Um, is it worth it? I always think it, it is. When, because when I, I am a great believer in love. And I think when you love someone, you love them completely, don't you? That's my personal opinion. You guys might different, be different. Um, my personal opinion is if you love someone it's probably worth the wait to a certain degree. I wouldn't put your whole life on hold. I would put a timing on it and say, well, if it hasn't happened at this point, then I really need to reconsider what I want. Um, I always think that love is worth the highs, you know? It is a bit of an addiction energy going on between the two of you. You're hitting the highest of highs, you're hitting the lowest of lows, highs, lows, highs, lows, and, it's a, and that is what kind of what's making it toxic. If you guys do break up and you do separate for a time being, Spirit is saying, can you be aware that your person loves you? And when they love you, there's a way. They will come back. Um, but don't go beckoning. Don't go running after them. Take it easy. Chill. 
relax a little bit, manifest what you want, stop manifesting what you don't want because you definitely are manifesting what you don't want at the moment. A lot of you are manifesting predetermining breakups with you and your person. Be wary, stop it before it's too late. Change that thought process. And when you, I say change your thought process and you, you're gonna say, oh, I know it's really, it's really hard to do that, I know. But what you need to do is kind of break it by break the momentum of that negative thought. If instead of it spiraling, go and have a shower, go and see your friends, go and have a coffee, go and rent it out, um, go and paint your nails, just do something that's gonna rechannel your energy, have a sleep. Sleep is the best way to break that negative momentum. And then when you wake up, you can start rewriting that chapter. When you dip into the negative energy, go and do something you enjoy. When you're in the positive energy, focus on manifesting it in the right direction to bring, bring what you want into your life. And you know, and if you aren't sure about what you want and you think, well, okay, I'll see what happens, you can always say, um, dear universe, if it isn't there, please send me someone better that I will love equally or more than because if you are struggling to leave the situation because you are in love with them and head over heels in love with them, ask the universe to bring someone that you will love equally or more than because then you're not going to, it's still going to be like, ow, it will be ow, but you'll find someone that you love equally or more than, than and then bringing that into your energy is going to create a new beginning for you. So you just keep that on the sideline, uh, maybe give it a time limit, but keep focused on yourself and what you want. I'm here if you need me, just drop us an email. Alright guys, uh, have a good week and I'll speak to you soon.